Today, we're going to talk about how to do a cultural comparison for the first theme on the AP language and culture exam, family and community. And the subtopic is traditions and values. So first of all, what is a comparison? In this case, it's a cultural comparison, but a comparison is when you are taking two people, places, things, in this case, two communities and their cultures, and drawing out the similarities and differences between the two. And that is what you are going to do on this part of the exam, two communities and their cultures and traditions in this sense, because we're talking about values and traditions. Okay, so what's a community? A community is a group of people within, it could be a small of a community such as a school and any other organization, a neighborhood, or it could be bigger, such as in a city, a town, a country, or a region, wherever that may be. And when we're talking about traditions and values, we have to understand what those words are too. So values are things that, for example, we try to instill in ourselves and others, particularly children, such as responsibility, kindness, resilience, courage, and whatnot. Now, traditions can be limited to certain holidays that a community may celebrate or certain customs that a family might do, such as Sunday dinner with the family. So it varies. And using all this information, we can now get into a cultural comparison about this topic. So on the exam, this is presentational speaking, and you have four minutes to read the question, and there's always a question, and to write an outline. Because if you try to write, what you're going to say in two minutes time, it's impossible. And yes, the first half of your presentation is going to sound amazing, but the second half, not so much. So you want to do an outline. In that outline, you want to restate the answer to the question. So highlight it. Well, you can't highlight the exam, but underline it and make sure you put an arrow right there. Okay. I have to answer this in a general sense. And then use a connector such as firstly in and then use the community that you're studying. So as an AP Spanish teacher, I always say start with the Hispanic community, whether that is um, a Spanish-speaking country in Latin America, Spain, or any of those smaller communities such as cities, regions, towns, whatnot. And then you answer the question in a specific way, right? So giving examples and details. So if you're saying why are, the question is why are traditions and values fa familiar meaning within families. Um, why are traditions and values in families so important? Your outline would state, okay, something along the terms of values and traditions within families are extremely important not only to uh, transmit or to instill the beliefs and ideologies, but also, you know, how to be a good citizen. So for example, or firstly, in, and then if my Spanish-speaking community is Cuba, if I say in Cuba, the family is the nucleus of society where um, values are instilled and that students or, or children can learn over the course of their lives. And although Cuba is suffering socioeconomic difficulties, um, one thing that families share a value is hard work and how everyone has to work very hard so that each family can survive. Um, they sustain each other, they support each other, and they contribute to the family. Um, and a recent study confirms that the that there is a high importance of instilling these customs and traditions, not only values, but customs and traditions, not just on a daily routine, but specific parties such as the three kings during the Christmas season. There you go. I talked about values and traditions in a Spanish-speaking country. Now, this is when you say in your community. So you put another connecting word in. Um, for example, it could be on the other hand, if you're going to say something a little different, you could say, additionally, if your community is going to be similar. And this is where not only you talk about your community and you state what it is, because the reader only knows your APID number. They don't know what your community is. And it not isn't necessarily just where you're from. It could be where you live, if that's a different place. And by the way, if you're a native speaker, use your community if that's 
a, a community of the language, use another one as well to avoid confusion. Um, so in the second part, this is where you're going to put the comparative more than less than similar to different from just as much as because if you start with comparisons, it can get really disorganized very, very quickly, and you might kind of go off track. And the same thing is if you start with your community, we're really good about talking about ourselves and what we know. And the whole point of this is to show what we know about another community and then drawing out the similarities and or differences in ours. So the second half of my outline is going to mention, you know, on the other hand, my community, the U.S., you know, the family is a source of traditions and values in a lot of in a lot of ways, but not so much as in as in Cuba, uh, given that the U.S. is a huge country and there are so many different cultures and values can vary from state to state or, or part to part. Um, instilling values and traditions is still very, very important, just like it is in Cuba, because students or young people learn now not only how important it is or how fundamental it is to act a certain way and to have these values, but to also be global citizens. Uh, similar to Cuba, the traditions are transmitted in order to make the generally generational gap smaller and to instill a certain respect between older and younger generations and a connection between them, but also to maintain certain unique customs, such as certain celebrations, for example, Thanksgiving. If traditions aren't instilled and passed on, they could be lost from one generation to another. So that's my example, answering the question about values and traditions in the U.S., comparing them to Cuba. And then at the end, if I have time, that extra, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 seconds, that's where I put a conclusion to conclude or in conclusion, values and traditions in both communities are fundamental or essential because they encourage the growth of each person and they preserve what is essential in each family. There's your cultural comparison that easily fills two minutes. You answered the question uh, in a very general form. You answered it specifically to the community that you're studying, whether it's Hispanic or Francophone or whatnot. Uh, answering the question about both traditions and values with certain relevant details. Then you compare it to your community and that's where you put the comparison in with relevant examples and details about traditions and values. And if you have time, it's really important to conclude answering the question. Now, the word important, as you might've heard in my descriptors, I didn't say important the whole way through. I used synonyms such as fundamental, essential. Those are the kind of things that elevate the grade to a five, especially if you've completed the test this way. You don't want certain grammar or vocabulary flaws or repetitions to lower the grade. So that's why you want to use a variety of connecting words, vocabulary words, and advanced grammar to get your point across. And that is how you do a cultural comparison about families and uh, about families and communities, traditions and values in the in the cultural comparison, obviously in the target language on your exam. Now, if you're a Spanish student, the link below is for Spanish students. I've done this in Spanish so that you can not only hear cultural comparison a little bit more specific, you can hear the kinds of words that I'm using and how I'm using different, not just words from the book, but synonyms of it. So check that out in the link below. And if you want more information on how to go about each section of the AP exam, language and culture, whether that's Spanish, uh, French, Italian, whatnot, follow this channel because I will be cultivating content and publishing it every single week, especially on the first two themes themes of the year to get you started and not just hear the protocols and how it's graded. Those videos are on there too. I have several playlists, so check them out, but also how to do each part of the exam using practice questions from past exams. So check it out at uh, the link below in Spanish and subscribe to this channel and go to makingspanishsimple.com. Also, if you're a Spanish student for more information about the Spanish language and culture.